You start out talking about um, truth about one of the most successful businesses in the world, Walmart. What lesson should we learn from Sam Walton? And you make it clear perfection is not one of those lessons. So, so Sam Walton, he knew he wanted to work for himself, but he did it the way a vast majority of all people learn entrepreneurship. He started with the franchise. A franchise in a small town, he bought basically a bankrupt franchise for close to nothing. And you know, the franchisor gave him a big thick manual, here's how you run your business and a little bit of training. And, and that was his start in retail. Um, and he did what they said and fixed the things that the previous owner hadn't uh, done so well. Uh, but then he felt that there, were, there was more he could do. He didn't, wasn't just going to stick to the manual and that was going to be it. So he, he would borrow and steal good ideas wherever he could get them. He went into his competitor's stores. He drove to the next town and the next town over to go into those stores and see what was working and what wasn't. And every week he would try something new or several new things. And those that worked out, he'd keep doing. And those that didn't, he wouldn't. And so he set a pace of relentless improvement. Every week, a little bit better. And you know what? When you improve things week by week, they accumulate. And so he was able to open more franchise stores. And it wasn't until 17 years later that he decided to, he knew so much that he was confident he could go out on his own. So Walmart wasn't something he did until he was 17 years into the business.